I'm Zach from kid to kid Tutorials, and right now we're going to be practicing difference of functions. Last time we went over combining functions with addition. Now we're going to go over combining functions with subtraction. So let's get started. So f of x equals x plus 3 times g of x minus 3 minus equals 3x plus 5. So f of x equals x plus 3 and g of x equals 3x plus 5. Okay, so find f of g of 4 minus g of f of 4. So we do that now. So g of 4, we plug in 4 for x and we get g of 4 equals 3 times 4 plus 5. And 3 times 4 is 12. And 12 plus 5 is 17. So g of 4 equals 17. So now we go on to f of 4. So f of 4, the function for f of 4 is f of x equals, the function for f of x is f of x equals x plus 3. So we're going to plug in 4 for x again. So we get here f of 4 equals 4 plus 3. And 4 plus 3 is 7. So we get f of 4 equals 7. Okay, so we have g of 4 equals 17 and f of 4 equals 7. So we go to f of 17 equals 17 plus 3. How did we get that? So we got it from f of g of 4. So we know that g of 4 equals 17. So you get f of 17. So f of 17 equals, we plug, so f of 17, the function for f of, is f of x equals x plus 3. So we plug in 17 for x, and we get f of 17 equals 17 plus 3. And 17 plus 3 is, you know it, 20. So f of 17 equals 20. Now go to our next step. So we got f of 17 equals 20. Now we go to g of 7 equals 3 times 7 plus 5. We got it the same way. So f of 4 equals 7. So g of 7 equals 3 times 7 plus 5. Because we substitute 7 for x. So 3 times 7 is 21. And 21 plus 5 is 26. So f of 17 equals 20, and g of 7 equals 26. Now for our final step. So f of 17 equals 20, and g of 7 equals 26. So 20 minus 26 is negative 6. Now let's look at how we got negative 6. So we had these functions, and we were asked to find this here. And whatever, so what we needed to do with g of 4 was put it into the function f of x and the same thing with this and how did we get g of 4? So we got g of 4 because we needed to plug in 4 for x in this equation. So it's the same thing as replacing the x with the 4. And then we multiplied and added. So <coughs> we did that and then we did the same thing with this. And whatever we got for g of 4, we plugged it into f of x. And we, got, and we do the same thing with this. So f of 4, we find out what that is, plug, replace 4 with x, and then we plug it into g. So that, and then we got these answers, 17 and 7. And g of 4 was 17, which is this equation, that equals 17 when you replace 4 with x. And then you put in 17 here. And then the same thing with f of 4. We plugged in 4 for x, and we got 7, and we put it into this function. And that's how we got 20, 20, and 26. And that's how we got negative 6. Thank you for watching kid to kid Tutorials. And if you like our videos, please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you.